I just went from this unflattering rust orange messy hair to this slightly less unflattering peacock blue hair and this is how it happened. Hello guys, so the first thing you need is brassy bleachy hair that needs to be colored <laughs> and you need a bowl, a dirty one, you need gloves. You need a hair brush and you need some clips to section out your hair. Finally, the most important, you need hair color. This is Streaks Professional Wonder Blue Hold and Play Funky Colors Hair Color. I have linked it in the description section in case you are interested. Ta-da! That's what it looks like. Light. First things first, I am just going to wear my gloves first. And then I'm going to brush my hair. Oh, and you also need a shirt that you wouldn't mind getting color on. <laughs> so I am just wearing my PJs. I am just going to color the bottom section of my hair because I just got the bottom section colored. I tried to get it done purple. I went to a salon and I got it done purple, but it didn't turn out purple. It was more burgundy. And it was kind of a disappointment, even though I really did like the color, but it just wasn't what I expected it to be. And once the color faded out, I was just left with this brassy, blondy color, which is not flattering at all. So we are going to do some damage control, or at least I'm gonna try to do some damage control. All right. So people are using like a little brush to do it. Okay, so the blue looked pretty intense. It was definitely a more blue than I thought it would be, but that's the whole point, I guess. So here I go. People use a brush, but I was trying to do it the easiest way possible because using a brush is just too much work. And this is the first time I have colored my hair myself, so... I wasn't that confident to be honest <laughs> and then I realized the importance of this foil paper because once the hair is colored and you put it back it is going to get your skin blue and your shirt blue and you don't want that you don't want the color to drip all over the floor and I had carpet so yeah I definitely did not want that so here I am, every time I did a section of my hair, I just kind of covered it up with the foil paper and I rolled it up. So that definitely helped not get the color all over me. And I tried to do a little bit in front of the camera, but then I realized I needed to do this over the sink. So then I went off air and I did the rest of my hair the same exact way so no surprises there yeah. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure how that happened but despite the gloves I still managed to get the blue all over my hands la, 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 I'm a smurf today and I did craziness like that for 30 minutes until I washed my hair Washing the hair was the difficult part, guys. It was tougher than coloring the hair because, oh my gosh, the blue. I used to color on clean, dry hair, and then I did not use shampoo or conditioner after washing off the color, but the hair felt really soft. The color definitely looks more green than blue, but I do like it. It's been a couple of weeks and it is still intact. I wanted to test out this new split screen feature on Filmora, that's why I've abused it in this video <laughs> this is me after three and four washes the color will keep coming off for a couple of washes so beware of that i'm actually quite proud of myself for testing out something this crazy on my hair uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one bye